But you're right. Stop, right, man. Okay. It's dangerous what you guys are doing. Do you understand? Yeah. I can't see. You're gonna get somebody hurt doing this shit. My daughter's coming down here. If you flash the lights on her, you're putting her in danger. Do you understand that? Yeah. I understand, Ben. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Guys, Ben Affleck is stressed up. Girl, let me tell you, Ben Affleck went off on a group of paparazzi who were taking pictures of him as he was driving away from his and Jennifer Lopez $60 million mansion in Beverly Hills on Sunday, yesterday, okay? Ben drove down the hill from his house and onto the main road where the photographers were waiting for him. As they flashed away, Ben slammed on the brakes, put the car in reverse, and got out to confront them. Ben said, listen, man, you're going to get me in an accident. And the paparazzi said, I don't speak American, right? <laughs> then Ben said, don't flash your lights as I'm driving down the driveway. Don't do that. That's dangerous. You don't even know if that's me. You could cause an accident. As he started walking away, back to his car, another photographer resumed taking pictures of him. And let me tell you, these paparazzi don't give a darn. They don't. So that caused Ben Affleck to lash out again, right? So he said, stop, man. It's dangerous what you guys are doing. Do you understand? I can't see. You're going to get somebody hurt doing this S-H-I-T. Mm -hmm, that's true. So then he added to his car. But then he turned around and said to the paparazzi, Jesus Christ, my daughter's coming down here. If you flash your lights on her, you're putting her in danger. Do you understand that? A person behind a video camera could be heard saying, I understand, Ben. And Ben drove away. Meanwhile, Jennifer Lopez has been vacationing without him in Italy. Do you know she canceled her tour because of ticket sales? But let her tell it. She claims it's because she wanted to save her marriage and want to spend time with her family and friends. Right? That's the story that we're getting. But they were saying there's low ticket sales. Right? So now she's in Italy claiming she's spending time with friends. But I don't see friends. I see one black woman and a guy. Now, we have never seen J-Lo with any black person, any black staff. So now we're seeing one black woman and a guy, and that's her on vacation with friends. Where did this black woman come from? I don't know. I've never seen J-Lo with a black friend, black staff member. I don't know. <laughs> so she's trying to look relatable because earlier today, she was spotted flying commercial to Paris Fashion Week. This over-the-top diva who's always first class. Now, all of a sudden, she's flying commercial with everybody else. I mean, come on, stop it. She is trying to humble. You now, see, that's what they do, these narcissists. When they know they need to change, they the problem, they'll do little things like, see, look, look, look. See, I'm trying to humble myself. See, I'm changing. It's all BS. Okay, so listen to this. Ben Affleck has been spending a lot of time with his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, and their kids. Ben looks so happy. He's so happy. He is so glad that J-Lo is not in America right now. He gets to spend time with his kids without J-Lo butting in because she was forcing herself in their graduations, little get-together, their lunches. She was just trying way too hard. She was using his kids or trying to get close to his kids so they could be like, oh, she seemed cool. She seems great. You know, dad, don't divorce her. So she was banking on the kids to talk Ben out of divorcing her. But it's not working. Everyone knows the love of his life is Jennifer Garner. Okay, Ben even said his biggest regret in life was his divorce from Jennifer Garner, right? Also, remember last month, a source came out and said if there was a way to divorce on grounds of temporary insanity, Ben Affleck would. 
He feels like the last two years was just a fever dream and he's come to his senses now. Now that he's sober, he is regretting marrying Jennifer Lopez. I heard Jennifer Lopez was loving the fact that he was a drunk. She was stacking up the house with alcohol for him because when he's drunk she's able to control him and he's able to just do whatever she says you know like go along right so now it's not working anymore she needed him drunk they said every day she would put a bottle in front of him so he could see it and he would be triggered and he would drink but every morning he would wake up he would be like what the hell he would you know get into fights with her because that's when he would sober up and realize oh my gosh i'm still in this marriage so yeah, so when he's drunk, when he's drunk, she could control him and he just like, oh good, she just, just go along to get along, right? But when he would sober up, it's like a lot of fights because he's like, damn, I'm still in this marriage. <laughs> this is too much. But so while JLo is away, Ben wanted to get some stuff out of their house. Remember, he has never been to that house ever since he moved out. That's the house that's on the market for $65 million. And it's not being sold because it's, well, it's expensive. I believe until they sell that house, they are not going to announce a divorce. I think they waiting for the house to be sold and then they'll come out and like, okay, yeah, because it's clear that they are done, right? It's clear. But what I find crazy, even though J-Lo is not in America and Ben Affleck is renting, he's staying at another place, the paparazzi is still outside. They are still following him. I mean, the fact that he went by the house to get some stuff, they were there flashing their lights when he was coming up the hill when he was leaving. Isn't that crazy? I see why it's stressful. That is stressful. Like, anywhere you go, like, they're right there, you know? But that's what they love. A lot of celebs love that sort of attention. Like, Jennifer Lopez, she love it. Right? They'll call the paparazzi and tell them where they at. But Ben clearly doesn't like it. But why get with someone? Why marry someone who's the opposite, who loves and craves attention? That is why, now that he's sober, he's like, oh my gosh, he's freaking out. Like, he wants out. Because also, remember, Ben Affleck, he suffers from anxiety and depression. And he handles it with antidepressants. So he takes antidepressants and he's been taking them since the age of 26 he's now 52 i believe so he's been battling depression for over 25 years and this is who j-lo after alex dumped her she couldn't find anyone right so she had to like okay so she, you know she's always been obsessed with ben so she reached out to Ben Affleck. When Alex dumped her, she had to have a man. She can never take a break. She goes from men to men. So it's like she was freaking out. Who do I go next? Who do I go to next? And she reached out to Ben, knowing that he was struggling with alcohol again. J-Lo did not care. She thought that alcohol issue was going to help her because that would make him dependent on her. And plus, she would be able to lead the relationship and he would just follow. Well, it did work for a little while. She got her fourth wedding, right? But it didn't last long because less than two years, he wants out. So all that alcohol she was supplying did not work. Now he's back sober. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Can you believe this? So I don't feel sorry for her because she knew what she was getting herself into. She, the one that reached out to him, interrupted his world, knowing that he was going through what he was going through, and she still did not care because she only cares about herself. She just wanted to get back with him. I mean, come on. There's a reason why it did not work out the first time, right? And then 25 years later, you reach out to him because you were humiliated publicly and you wanted to top what, what, what you were going through, right? She was going through humiliation from Alex and she wanted to bounce back fast from the humiliation. So she reached out to Ben Affleck.
knowing his struggles and everything. She didn't give a damn. It was all about self, self, self. People like J-Lo, they are selfish as hell. It's all about themselves. Since they cannot be alone, they will drop into a relationship that's not even good as long as they're not single, you know? So they'll go from one to the next one knowing damn well it's not a good one, it's not gonna work. But for that moment, it's going to do. So she can't be single, so she will jump into anything at the moment just so she can't be single. Another thing about people like J-Lo, they won't leave unless they have someone to jump to next. Meaning, while the relationship is, you know, going through whatever it's going through, like a lot of issues, they're already plotting, they're conniving, they'll have somebody in mind. So when that relationship is done, done, they will just like go from that person to the other person without missing a beat. So yeah, so they're already plotting who's going to be next. So there's not a single gap from the old guy to the new guy. So they won't be single for long. The ideal time is like a week or less before they jump to the next guy because they cannot be alone. They need a man. They cannot be alone. And also, they won't leave or they won't allow you to leave them until they have someone to replace you with. Now, if they don't have someone to replace you with, then they're not going to handle the breakup well. They need the dopamine, they need the distraction to help them move on from the breakup. The distraction will help them move on to the next person, you know. But yeah, that's that's another topic. So back to Ben Affleck. He's spending a lot of times with Jennifer Garner, his ex-wife, and the kids. You know, on Father's Day, he spent it with her, right? And the kids. Something is going on, so much so. Now, it's being reported that Jennifer Garner is trying to convince ex-Ben Affleck to save his marriage to Jennifer Lopez. Think about that. No. See, because they are spending so much time together, so Jennifer Garner, I guess she, she must feel a little guilty because I'm telling you, this whole she's trying to convince Ben Affleck to save his marriage to J-Lo. What? So she's just putting that out there so people don't start thinking, wait a second, is there something going on with them? So when we do see them together down the line, it would be like, oh, well, she did try to make him work it out with Jennifer Lopez. It just didn't happen. BS. Total BS. And what men need to be convinced to stay with a woman? His wife. If a man has to be convinced to stay with you, why the hell would you want to be with that man if he needs to be convinced? <laughs> this is crazy. Gosh, and why does he need convincing? Why are they trying to force this guy to be with her, stay with her? This is nuts. But I really do think once the, the house that's on the market, once they sell it, then they will just stop with the with the games, okay? So it's a mess, but we are here for the drama. This whole mess, okay? We here for it. Um, that's all, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.